talk a little bit about watering your smaller tropicals. One thing to remember, plants in small pots are always going to require more frequent watering than the larger ones. So let's talk a little bit about how to determine if it needs water. A pot this small, just pick it up. If it feels light for its size, chances are it's going to need a drink. And while you're at it, test the soil surface with your fingertips. If it feels damp to the touch, it's not going to need any water. If it feels dry at the soil surface, then give it a drink. With hanging baskets, it's pretty easy to just pick them up. Again, if they feel heavy for their size, they're not going to need a drink at this point. If they feel light for their size, time to water. When you're working with small plants, it's not always easy to angle the nozzle right into the pot. So what we're going to do in this case, start watering at the head of the table and just work your way slowly back and forth, making sure that you're getting every row. And then, once you get back to the larger pots, then it'll be a little bit easier to make sure that you're getting under the foliage and right onto the soil surface. One thing I want you to pay special attention to, look at the type of container that the plant comes in. In many cases, you'll have a plant that's in a decorative overpot, and these overpots don't always have drainage in the bottom. When it comes to watering plants like this, make sure that you're not watering so much that a lot of water is building up in the bottom, because you don't ever want to let a plant sit with its roots in water. The roots will quickly start to rot, and the whole plant will wilt and die. Overwatering a plant is just as fatal as underwatering or not watering at all, so be very careful, making sure not to let too much water build up in the bottom. Some overpots, as in these back here, these do have drainage holes, so you can water these just like you would water any other type of grower's pot. Once you get to watering the hanging baskets, take your water wand, angle the nozzle down slightly, and make sure you're getting right into the pot. The last thing you want to do, just like with any type of tropical, you don't want to just squirt the pots you need to make sure that you're getting into and watering each and every one individually. Hold the trigger for a few seconds and you should start to see a trickle of water coming out the bottom and you'll know that it's watered sufficiently. 